Hey everybody, it's Charlie from Daily Motor. And part of owning an EV is being able to charge at home. It's great, you never have to go to a gas station, you always wake up with a full tank, if you will, and you're able to go about your driving and come back at the end of the night, plug it in, wake up, rinse, repeat. But part of getting that luxury is installing an at-home, what they call level two charger. Level one is when you just plug into a normal 120 wall style outlet. Level three is what we call supercharging in the Tesla world or DC fast charging. That's getting you uh, plenty of charge, maybe something like zero to 80% in 20 minutes sort of thing. But the sweet spot and what you use regularly if you have a standard EV is level two. This is 240 volt charging here in the US and it's gonna do anywhere from six to 10 kilowatts of power charging up your car. Typically, if you were to go from zero to 100% and say something like a long range Tesla Model Y, it might take about seven hours or so, but much more typically, you're coming home with maybe 55% after running some errands, you plug in, charge up to about 90% or so, it takes a few hours and you're always good to go in the morning. So how do you get that installed into your house? Well, first of all, you need to have 240 volt wiring into your, typically your garage, or at least somewhere where you can get it to your car. That often requires contacting an electrician. If you are particularly handy, you can do it yourself, but not only does a breaker need to be installed into your house, but you need to run the wiring and then get the proper plug in order to plug in your charger. This is typically a NEMA 1450 plug. So that looks like this, and that's what most of the chargers plug into. There are some alternatives. There are so many different 240 volt plug options, and some of them are gonna get you higher amperage, some of them are gonna get you lower. You can use adapters, so just make sure if you already have 240 volt wiring going to your garage, you use the right adapter, and you may need to dial back the max power output of your charger, and that's something that most high quality chargers can do. So once you have the wiring all set, then it's time to pick out a charger. This is going to take that 240 volt power and convert it into a charge that your car can actually use. So it's gonna have an adapter on it to plug into your vehicle, and it's going to, if you, it's, you can think of it as converting the power into usable power for your car. There are plenty of options. You can go on Amazon and you can get anything from cheap, random off-brand chargers for just a few hundred dollars to super expensive, high-tech smart chargers and everything. But what we found is a sweet spot is right around $400, $500 or so, something from a name brand, something like ChargePoint or Juicebox, NLX, those are some big name chargers. But the best one we found is from a company called Grizzly. Now Grizzly has a very similar construction to a lot of those type of chargers. Made in Canada, that's something we appreciate. And what that means is you're gonna get a really good charger for all types of weather. And that's really important for us here in Michigan. So the Grizzly charger is very sturdy. It's very durable. They actually did a video running over it in the snow, just kind of tossing it out and running over it with some sort of four wheel drive vehicle. And it handled totally fine. It was a little beat up, but it's metal hard casing. They took it, plugged it back in and it worked totally fine. So Grizzly sent us a few chargers and we've been using them every single day for our Tesla Model Y. And you can do that because Teslas have adapters. You can go from the standard plug to the Tesla charger. Of course, another option is just getting a Tesla charger from Tesla, having that wired in or plugged in. So that's another route if you're just gonna be charging Teslas primarily, but because we charge all sorts of vehicles here at Daily Motor, we decided to go with a more universal option. So for the rest of this video, we are going to show uh, kind of a quick install process here at the Topher's house because he's getting his Grizzle E charger all hooked up and plugged in so he can charge his electric press vehicles as well and maybe if he decides to go electric, charge his own vehicle on top of that. So we're a little bit jumping the gun on the unboxing here, but this is a Grizzle E charger. This is it here in the flesh. So you can see this is the long 24 foot cable option. And this, I mean, it's hefty. This is solid metal. You can see I actually already have this adapter screwed in, it's very simple, it's just for, you could almost hand screw it in, adapter uh, bolts right here. And then this is where the magic happens. In here, pretty much just got uh, some circuitry board, and one thing that it does have is what are called dip switches. So if you were using an adapter, maybe only running on 30 amps in your garage rather than 50 maximum apps, amps, Grizzly can actually send this to you preset so it won't provide any higher than 30 amps or 32 or whatever you need. But in this case, we're running the full 40 amps and you always need to be running at 80% of your circuit's capacity. So for us to run at 40 amps with this charger, we have to have the 50 amp plug and circuit breaker and, and wiring and everything like that. So make sure if you're not super familiar with this, you contact a qualified electrician, he or she can get you hooked right up.
So we've got the main thing here and then your plug. This is an NEMA 1450 plug. This is gonna plug right into the wall over there for us. And then check out the length of this cable. I mean, this is, this is really durable. We've had this in freezing temperatures at our house as well. It's always malleable. And this was important for both me and Chris up at the Topher because he's gonna be able to have this plugged into his wall there and then be able to charge vehicles either right here in the garage or out there in the driveway, maybe even two spots down. I mean, this is really long. It's gonna be fun to play around with. Outside of that in the box, we've got a little mounting uh, apparatus, if you will. So we'll show us getting this into the wall. And then this is going to allow us to hook the charger uh, kind of we'll put this into the wall and then the charger kind of hooks onto this super easy So that's gonna be something we do And I also kind of appreciate how grizzly doesn't fill you in with a bunch of uh, paper here wasted They simply have one little piece of paper and then you scan this QR code and that actually gives you the instructions for how to install it So let's get started We're actually going to install our grizzly upside down just because of where the plug is right here and where the studs are, we'd like to have it mounted into a stud. And if you're gonna do that, that's totally fine. All you need to know is this little bracket mount here is directional and because I had it right side up at my house, now it's going upside down. We're gonna pop this off, it does say top right there. Flip that around the orientation and then it's gonna sit just like that or so. So as long as you can read grizzly upside down, that's how it's gonna sit. So we learned a bit the hard way that you want to have your bracket a little bit higher than you think. Because if you line it up with this bracket onto the wall, you say, okay, it's a great placement. This is actually going to sit down. I don't know how well that'll focus. It's gonna sit down about a quarter inch or so lower than you think. So you actually want to raise your bracket about a quarter inch or it's, it's tough to give yourself a proper amount of play because these things are so thick. There's not a bunch of bend here. So you do have to kind of be strategic, but we just slide this right on there, plug that in, take our little security pin, slide it through this back hole. That makes it right in there. And there we are, we're plugged in. So now Chris has all of this cable length. And this is what one of the things that makes the Grizzly 24 foot charger so useful. It's got the charger right there in his garage. He could have an EV backed in right here, plug in. Could probably even have an EV backed in with the charger on the other side, drape it through, plug in here, or come out to your driveway. Let's cold test. We have not tested his, his connection yet. Let's plug in into the Tesla and see if we start getting charged. For charging Teslas with the Grizzly, we use a little J-plug adapter into Tesla. That plugs into the Grizzly charger. Let's see. There we go, we've got green flashing light. See up on the car, our Model Y standard range tops out at 32 amps and as the amperage climbs, are we gonna get there? There we are, 32 out of 32. Grizzle E is working. Now this charger is capable of up to 40 amps, but the car is only capable of 32. Now the next thing to do is talk about what to do with all this cable. You got 24 feet, Chris isn't gonna just leave it lounging around like this. So you can kind of cover it up if it's out in the elements, keep it a little protected. And then Grizzle E provides a solution Right here, we're gonna open up just a handy little plastic element. It's gonna allow him to store the cable and the charger on the wall. So we're gonna get this installed. We're probably gonna do it, we'll let him pick out, but probably here-ish so that he can coil up his cable all nice. So let's get this installed and see how it looks. We did it. We got the mounting point. So solid on there. They do provide some drywall anchors. So we were able to get two into the drywall, two into the stud, very secure. That should allow us to ever so carefully wrap this thing up. And I will admit, because this is such a, a hefty cable, 
it's kind of a little bit cumbersome to wrap it up nicely. So I think our best way of going about it, just to go like this, and make some loops. And then put it all on like that. You can see because, again, it's such a hardy cable, it doesn't always like to lay flat, but it'll kind of learn the way you lay it regularly. And then just like that, you've got yourself an electric vehicle charger, specifically a good one from Grizzly. This one's about $400. This is their dumb charger, as it's called, which just means it doesn't have Wi-Fi connectivity. They do make a smart charger for just a little bit more that has Wi-Fi connectivity. They're working on an app so that you can charge, uh, you can track charging and schedule charging, things like that. But this one is super simple. It allows you to just get it hooked up like this, like we did, plug it into an electric vehicle and charge the car. So thanks to Grizzly for providing us chargers for all of our electric vehicles we have. You know there are a lot more EVs coming along the way. So it's definitely good to have something like this. And now the Topher is all set up for EV charging. So thank you all so much for watching. Be sure to tune in to all of our electric vehicle content here at Daily Motor, and we'll see you on the next one. I'm Charlie from Daily Motor, and as always, drive on. Mm -hmm.